Hey everybody, welcome back to Local 5 News Midday. Joining me now is uh, Johnson & Grimes Fire Chief Jim Clark. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, as we head into the holiday weekend, you guys are probably going to be busy with just all the celebrations. And the big thing, of course, every year is fireworks. When it comes to that, how do you guys uh, uh, just kind of talk to the public about how to stay safe on that? Sure, well, one of the things is that we want everybody to be safe. Um, the fireworks should not be used or lit off by children. I mean, we want to leave that to the adults. And again, each jurisdiction or each community has their own regulations. So in Johnston, for instance, yeah. they can only use the novelties, and those are the snakes, the, the morning glory sparklers, mm -hmm. you know, the things that d don't shoot up in the air. Yeah. Uh, for Grimes, they can use consumer fireworks, and that would be your bottle rockets, your flares, those types of yeah. things uh, that, that can either be on the ground or uh, go up in the air. But we always want to make sure adults do that. Yeah. And even if they're using uh, the morning glory sparklers and that, if children are using them, want to make sure that you have a bucket of water there so that when they're done using it, they can put it in the bucket of water okay. so that they don't throw it on the ground, step on it, burn their foot right. or burn their hand or something else picking it up. So. Yeah. How important is it for people to really, really follow some of these instructions? Because I'm sure year after year, you guys still respond to incidents uh, in relation yeah, to that. Yeah, we do, we do. There, there's been a large increase in 2017. The state legislature passed yeah. uh, a law to allow the sale of fireworks within the state, which hadn't been done for you know 75 years or so before that. The, the amount of injuries has increased uh, about 114 percent in the four years after that wow. compared to the four years before that. So local hospitals and clinics yeah. see a lot more injuries from fireworks. About a third of those are to the hands, of course, when people are holding and yeah. using and lighting fireworks. Another third is to the to the eyes and to the face, and then the other third is for the rest of the body that's injured. Yeah. And uh, of course, when uh, you guys are out there responding to these incidents, uh, what, what do you, do you guys still message to people to, to be careful uh, and, and just really reiterating that message? Certainly, certainly. Yeah. And that's why, like, Grimes, when they pass their ordinance to allow it, they yeah. specifically put in there that it should be the adults only that are, that are lighting them yeah. off. Is there a certain time window where uh, you are allowed to light it and then not after that certain period? Yes, so uh, for Grimes, because they do allow the, the use of consumer fireworks, uh, they can light them off from 9 in the morning until 10 p.m. Uh, July 1st through the 8th. And then on July 4th, they can actually get an extra hour. They can light them off until 11 p.m. Got it. And any advice for people who, if they have a bunch of fireworks left over after the 4th, if they want to get rid of it, what would be the safe way, safest way to do uh, Generally, like the state fire marshal's office okay. will collect those. Uh, we don't specifically do it in Johnston or Grimes. Okay. But uh, again, the safest thing is if you're not going to use them, you want to destroy them, is to soak them in water first. Okay. And that makes them inert, basically. And then they can go in the garbage. But we do have a lot of fires every year from people taking fireworks that they think are cooled off enough and putting them directly in the garbage. And we get yeah. dumpster fires and garbage fires. So we want to make sure people prevent that by putting them in water and yeah. soaking them really well first. All right. Well, Chief Clark, thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you all have a safe weekend as well as you all continue to work. And thank you for all that you guys do. Thank you. All right.